You can import all sorts of data into GMS. If your data is text and columns, you can use the text import wizard to import the data. Here's a text file containing elevation data at several points. Dragging the file into GMS launches the text import wizard. For a fixed width file, I can add, move, and delete column breaks with the mouse. Our file is delimited by spaces, so I'll choose that option. I can skip over extra info at the top of the file and indicate that there is a heading row. In the next step, I'll tell GMS what type of data I'm importing. If there are null or no data values, I can indicate that. I also specify the type of each column. In this case, GMS has already guessed all the column types based on the column header. When I click Finish, GMS imports our file as scatter points. I can interpolate from the scatter points to define mod flow layer elevations. GMS can import many types of data via the text import wizard. This file contains borehole data. This file defines wells with well screens. Before importing this file, I first need a conceptual model and a coverage with well attributes enabled. Once I have wells, I can import pumping data for the wells. The pumping data is put with the appropriate well by matching the well names. I can convert pumping data to a step function as I import it. If my data is in a spreadsheet, I can copy the data to the clipboard and paste it into GMS. This also launches the text import wizard. All of the different types of data and file formats that can be imported via the text import wizard are listed on the GMS wiki.